Hey YouTube, today we're going to work on the one of one rare Pontiac G body. So the first thing I'm going to do is let's go back to the uh, retro style wheel on this car. So I'm going to take these 17s off and put something on that makes more sense for this car. I'll show you the new wheel combo in a second. So to give you guys a heads up, the reason I switched from the 17s that were originally on this car to the 16s is down the road once this car is built, I do want to kind of race it. So I noticed that drag radials are cheaper in 16s, 17s are super expensive in the size and we're kind of going with Pontiac theme. So if you look on this side, this is using stock wheel studs now obviously i've i'll upgrade them but if you look over here these are upgraded so see how they're longer and they stick out farther stock wheel wheel stud looks like pretty short doesn't get very much engagement but here's the brand that i got from my local o'reilly's and then there's the number if anybody wants to get the same ones like for this fender it's a off of an 80 82 to 86 bonneville you can use uh, le mans or other fenders so you can use the 78 to 81 le mans or grand am uh, fenders for this swap you don't have to look for directly the 82 to 86 Bonneville fenders, they're all the same. Uh, the only difference that you're gonna run into is some of the older Pontiacs, they did have metal inner fender wells versus this one is plastic, which I'll show you. So see how it's plastic? You will have these braces that go roughly and that's so here's the front end mocked up i got to make some custom parts to get everything to fit because the factory brackets that hold the bumper in don't fit but bonneville fenders bonneville hood now obviously this low these low spots are because i don't have the core support in but factory ornament and then also because this is just a mock-up I don't have the chrome strip on the back of the hood yet but looks pretty good so here's the underneath of it in the engine bay you can see where my hands at the distance is a lot farther here than if I was using a stock bumper support for the uh, Malibu so I gotta make something custom here to compensate for that gap on both sides but, and he just kind of mocked in here so I can get an idea what, what I need to make and what I need to do. But this gives me an idea how to do it. One eternity later. So I did my research and I'm not a fan of these, but it'll work. These are aftermarket bumper supports. They're not adjustable, so if you do get in a wreck, you it does more damage but so see how it's bolted up and then see how the other one is right there those are fit the gap i needed to 
get the front bumper bolted to the Malibu frame. So now for the back end, we got the Le Mans slash Bonneville taillight in. I think I, I need to screw a couple more of these in place, but I think I was I need to put a bulb or two in, but they're good to go. Now, when I originally, from the first video, originally I had Malibu corners that I modified and just cut the bottom off. They weren't working. So I actually got Le Mans and Bonneville style corner ends with a nice fake chrome. Now I just need to get the, the thinner chrome off of a Bonneville since this is a Malibu chrome and it doesn't match. We got the Bonneville Le Mans license tag bolted in place. I, I think I have to shave a little bit off right here to, because I'm going to bring this inwards because it just has a, a slight, it's not 100% flush, but you can tell right there. And then the other thing, I got the back bumper mounted. The only thing that is left is I need to adjust the, the height. Now you can see, here's these blue style bulbs. They're nicer. And then we'll go right here. See how they're just loosely, see how that moves. I need to adjust up and tighten this, but look up there, that part is mounted, so you got that bracket, and I made some holes and stuff and screwed this, so this is attached. Now one thing I am running across that I can't find is for like that hole there's so many mounting holes on the bottom to hold this this bumper cover to the actual metal bumper right here. I'm having a hard time trying to find those parts. So any Monte Carlo or Cutlass guys that have the rubber bumpers also, what do you guys use? Comment that in the comment section. And then one thing to give you a heads up about, let me get these bulbs out of the way. These are longer bumper supports. Now these aren't the lightweight ones like on the front of the car. These are OEM style, but they're longer. So the Malibu ones were like four inches long in this distance. This is closer to five. So that makes it where the gap, it, pull, it fits the, the bumper better. some progress on this car just not enough progress at least from my perspective due to Pontiac parts are a pain in the butt to find but we're tracking along we're making progress and that's all that matters so we can get this this rare one of one G body on the road now if you did like this this content the next video that I'm gonna probably talk about that relates to G bodies is building a small block Chevy since a lot of you guys do have a stock style G body and you want to make some horsepower out of it that's gonna be the next one coming up I got a whole bunch of parts that'll show you how to do build a small block on a budget we're gonna start that series next you did find it informative it did help you out to for your project please like and subscribe and uh, we'll see you on the next one